Uh, I don't know if there's anything more Canadian than trying to fix a snowblower in the middle of winter time <laughs> outside and freezing your hands off while you do it. I think I got it working though. What was happening? There was a leak. There was a gas leak. There's leaking gas all over the place here. Uh, yeah, I didn't really film it, but it was just all it was. I think it was just the hose that was connecting to the carburetor. It was had a really Mickey Mouse kind of uh, clip on it. So I replaced it with a, a better uh, hose clamp, and that seemed to stop the leak. But yeah, it was just it was just dripping, and it was every time I went back here, I could smell gas. You know where I was storing it. I knew it had a leak, but yeah, it just got worse, I guess. But anyways, it's not dripping anymore. Uh, so let's turn it on. Hopefully it works, because I got a lot of snow to do. And it's like the. I feel like I just woke up and uh, all I've done so far today is working on my snow blower. Uh, I uploaded one video to YouTube and then I came out here to shovel snow. And look at the sun, look at the sun, it's already ready to go down. It's, it's, like, uh, it's like the days are just so short. Anyways, let's give this a go. Gas is on. Cross your fingers. It should it should fire right up because I did have it going before. Yeah. Bin. Just picked up some groceries at the grocery store because it's uh, Christmas Eve. And looks like, yeah, nothing's changed here really. No. So, yeah, I picked up a bunch of, uh, there was a, a refrigerator here, and then I left these two giant TVs behind. So, it's uh, Saturday right now, and the scrapyard's not open until uh, Wednesday. Oh. Hello. So my truck is going to stay full of scrap and these TVs are going to stay here for a while. One TV. What do we got here? Got your new phone. Oh, thanks. So, how, it, how does it look, Doctor? It looks like since it's been in the cold, the battery is probably toast. Oh, uh, battery's probably toasted or frozen. Oh, what's wrong? You, you cold? Oh, it's just running out there. My fingers. So cold. What do we got here? Samsung ourselves a little Samsung. That's what I said. <laughs> well, doesn't look like there's any damage. It could be my new phone. could be my new phone. Oh, I could have your, your old phone. My phone has a cracked screen. Still better than, than my blue phone. Yeah. Hey. Well, we'll plug it in, see what happens. A little case. I like that case. It's broken though. Is it? Yeah. It's not broken. I think you gotta tape it. Cool. Hey guys, it's December 26th, day after Christmas, and we had a good Christmas for sure. It was really nice. Um, here at the house, we just uh, had our morning with the kids, and we opened up presents. The kids are very, very happy, you know. We didn't spoil them. We don't really spoil them with like, you know, five minute toys. We like to try and get them stuff where they can, you know, use over and over again. And, uh, you know, uh, we bought them like museum passes and some other things like that. And, uh, yeah, so they're very happy. And then later on we went to my parents' house and had a nice feast. So it was great. 
Um, yeah, so the kids are happy. I had a couple of presents myself. I got a new phone. Well, this is a used phone. Um, my wife got me a new phone. It's a Samsung S4, so it's like one of the. It's a. It's an older model. And it's used, so she didn't pay very much for it. And then it comes with an Otter box, which I like, and because uh, my other phone had a cracked screen. And uh, yeah, so I needed. I needed a new phone. I don't need anything fancy, so I'm glad she, she didn't buy me a new phone, because yeah, I don't need anything that will. Anything too fancy. All I like to do is check eBay, check uh, YouTube, check. Uh, a couple of their apps. That's about it. Um, I want to show you another cool present that I got. Hang on a second. And it's a cool present for you guys too, so check this out. It's a GoPro, GoPro Hero 5. Upgraded. Really, really cool camera. I'm just trying to figure out how to work this thing. It's really neat, but so far so good. Um, I think if you guys remember early on when I first started, it's almost been a full year now of just me putting out videos. So I, yeah, I started out a year ago and I was putting out, uh, I was just using my camera phone and then I upgraded to a GoPro Hero 2 and I bought this used for like $100 off eBay and uh, I didn't really realize when I bought it, it's not very good for sound at all, at all, at all. So it has like a, a microphone, but you see it comes with a case like this. And the only way you can use this camera, really, without, you know, you can hold it, but it's pretty awkward. And the uh, the key, the microphone itself isn't very powerful. So what I did is I drilled holes into the case, and uh, and I bought a little external microphone. So I I've been using that for the last little while. It's okay, but um, the problem that I have is that for some reason this microphone or this pretty sure it's the camera not the microphone it makes this really annoying staticky sound when the wind comes or any sort of movement uh, so that was really annoying so I finally upgraded and you guys deserve it so I sold like five things yesterday even though it's um, Christmas Day December 25th I sold five things they're mostly just furnace parts so that kind of um, it's not very good for the people who have to buy cr furnace parts on Christmas Day <laughs> But yeah, that's a inducer motor that actually sold. That's a, a boiler part, big uh, bell and gosset motor. And then I have a little bag full of little things here. And uh, yeah, that is uh, the, the rectangular microwave plate. I guess I did a whole video. I did a whole video of uh, me packaging of what I showed, what I sold. Um, and then after I was done the video, I went and patched everything up and then I went to check. I guess I didn't press the right button or something on this camera. So it didn't record any of it. But in my last video, I had a kind of a, a rectangular plate from a big uh, microwave. And uh, so I sold it for 30 bucks. It was going to Texas. So that's kind of neat. Let's go to the scrapyard right now. Got all the packages from uh last few days that's like over the whole uh whole holidays really so whew, i guess i haven't been to the post office since friday it's wednesday now so that's everything this is the scrap it's been sitting out in the truck for a long time too haven't really touched it like i haven't moved the truck at all really um same amount of time uh it's probably been a whole week i haven't really gone anywhere so i'm saving lots on gas but yeah, this is just refrigerator, hot water tank. There's a couple furnaces and some other stuff. So it'll be a good uh, a good wait for sure. Hopefully it's not all frozen in there so I can get it out. <laughs> but yeah, that shouldn't be too bad. So I got a few errands to do today. I got to get gas. I got a post office, scrap yard. I got to pick up more chicken feed. And I got to, uh, what was the other thing? Oh yeah, the drop-off bin. I'm going to pick up those TVs that are at the drop-off bin. Yeah. <laughs> oh, truck's not too hot. The truck does not like the cold very much. Oh well. 
no choice. Gotta work. Made it to the scrapyard. I was a little bit worried it was gonna be closed today, but it's not. It's wide open. They're working, uh, looks like they got the cranes working over there. Uh, piling up or squishing shred into little bite-sized balls. So I, what I do is I turn around myself here and I back into that little area because it's really congested. Not a lot of space right now. They haven't uh, really done much with their shred pile in a while, the looks of it. All right, well, let's go dump it all out here. Steel's pretty good right now. Steel is doing very well. Man, one, they gave me, uh, they boosted me up again to 180 a ton. So anyways, yeah, 980 pounds, $80.10, wow, that's awesome. Pick up more steel, sure, why not, if the prices are that good. Well, you know, it's all up to, it's all about what you think uh, good money is. You know, for me, that's good. So I, I definitely, uh, when I see steel and my truck is empty, I'd stop and pick it up. Better go get gas. I got my engine, my gas light is on. And then uh, chicken, chicken feed, and post office, and drop off bin. The thing where I live right now, it's. Uh, nearest gas station to me nearest gas station is um, it's in the town close to me but it's like a special gas station so their prices are always more than uh, than anywhere else it's kind of like they just charge a, a premium um, that gas station is about 15 minutes away from my house and the next guest gas station is like in an opposite direction and that's like 20 minutes from my house and that's where I went right now so you really have to plan out, make sure you're not at the house with like an empty gas tank because it could, you know, don't ever want to get stuck in a dry tank. Here we go, time to go get cold. All right, so yeah, nothing's changed. Oh, I should have brought my shovel. Nothing new, except for that. Ugh, 20 bucks for a chicken feed. So, put that right there, I guess. $20 for chicken feed, $40 in gas. Pretty much spent all of my scrapyard money already. Oh well, that's the way it goes. There we have it. It's cold out. Get on time. It's cold out. Very cold. Oh, I'm gonna. Well, I'm gonna text Christine and tell her to make me a nice coffee. Hey, what's up, guys? 
Well, it's really cold out today, so my furnace is going to be running non-stop in the background. I apologize for that. Not much I can do. We're just in a real bad cold snap right now. It is just freezing cold out there. Uh, minus 26. I think it went down to like minus 20, 34. Minus 34 last night. It was just freezing. I'm sure everyone's experiencing that right now. So you know what I'm talking about. It's like almost January right now. Oh boy. So I sold three things uh, yesterday on Thursday. Today's Friday. So I got to package this stuff up. Um, and it was nice. Uh, these things sell. I've been selling lots and lots of furnace parts this week. You know, like I said, for, uh, Christmas Day I was selling furnace parts to people and uh, their furnaces are breaking down. So that's what's happening right now. Um, inducer motors, switches, uh, some control boards, stuff like that. And so they think about furnace parts is that when your furnace breaks down in weather like this, you, they want their part they wanted their part 10 minutes ago you know so you gotta just ship it out right away uh, so that's the only thing you have to have really fast shipping for that sort of stuff in this weather for an appliance that is so crucial you know to, to your house yeah so that's good uh everything's going really well right now but i'm just going to be kind of hibernating for the next little while so let's get into this guys uh this is um uh TV pedestal base yeah TV pedestal base stand screws and bracket sold it for $60 that's uh, that's roughly $47 US $38 for shipping it's going all the way to Georgia so this is a, a stand that I got at my drop-off bin um, it comes with it's brand new it's never been used it comes with all these brackets and these uh, aluminum pegs and the screws and everything so it's really nice is you know it's brand new just a big circular oval thing so yeah i remember i i showed this tv in a in one of my past videos um i guess what must have happened was they bought the people would have bought their tv and they kept the box and the stand and they must have put their tv like on a wall a wall mount or something so when their tv broke they probably put it right back into the box you know they were probably storing the box in the garage or something and they put it back in the box and brought the whole thing to my drop-off bin so i remember plugging in the tv it was a really nice big one um it was what was it it was a it was a big sharp uh, aquos tv and I tried to plug it in and find out what the problem was. I could not. I could not figure it out. Uh, so when that happens, I can't really, um, I can't really harvest any of the boards or anything out of it because I just don't know what went wrong. So the only thing, I, I just brought that TV to uh, in with the rest of my e-waste, but I was able to salvage this base. And I put it up on eBay, sixty bucks. It's really nice. These stands, I find, do very well on eBay, guys. If you, if you want to, you know, it's a bit of a, bit of an odd-shaped box. You know, it's about that size, and it's flat, and it's long and wide. So it's kind of an odd-shaped box that you have to try and find for it. Uh, but it's not like it's 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 durable enough. You know, it's not going to break. So easy enough to ship. You just have to have a big box for it. Oh, this one here. Oh, that's just kind of neat. This was actually, my dad told me it was my grandfather's or my great grandfather. So this is a um, an old uh, electrical tester, voltage tester. Uh, Square D Company leads sold it for twenty five dollars, seventeen for shipping. It's going to Nevada. Yeah. So yeah, I don't really have um, many collections. I don't. I don't hold on to anything really, you know, for sentimental keeping. I mean, it's, yeah, obviously it was my grandfather's. It's got a bit of burning on there, on the leads. It's my grandfather's, but uh, I'd much rather pass it on to someone who would appreciate something like this, you know. For me, it would just kind of sit in a box and never see the light of day again. <laughs> but yeah, so I have no problem selling that to somebody. So it's $25. Someone will appreciate that. Uh, my dad gave that to me and 
my dad also gave me this one of his old tools here uh, this is an oscillating Rockwell oscillating tool it's battery operated has two uh, two lithium batteries it's well used but these batteries hold the charge just fine and has a charger and a bunch of these a bunch of accessories it's a nice tool you know especially if you're doing like precision work um see how these blades and attachments you can use for it really nice tool for what i do i tried it out for what i do and i just it wouldn't i just couldn't really use it um, i use an angle grinder for most of my stuff with cutoff discs and that works a lot better for me yeah so again just pass it on to someone who might uh who might find it more useful but i did sell it for 50 dollars 26 for shipping and that is going to uh the states as well uh where is that ohio so i was a little bit worried about selling stuff like this you know stuff that takes batteries you know it's just kind of it's like how much more life do they actually have i don't know but i put a best offer option on it and he offered me fifty dollars i think i was asking originally like 70 i think it was yeah but uh these uh these tools there's quite different um brands out there i've never really heard of this one but i've looked i looked it up online and they're selling uh, more newer versions of this for quite a lot of money so it's obviously doing quite well i don't know yeah so that's that um just been quite busy still you know even though i'm kind of hibernating because of the weather still lots of uh, stuff to list i'm finding stuff all the time i just went to over for christmas my parents house my dad gave me some more breakers you know i was telling him about how how i'm selling some of the old breakers that i get I sold one, a, a two-pole, I didn't show it guys, but I sold a two-pole 125 amp uh, commander. It was a very high amperage, it was, you know, it was quite a heavy little thing. I sold it for $75, just for one breaker. And you know, when I was telling him about this, he was just like, oh, I just throw these things in the garbage all the time. I'm like, well not anymore you're not, <laughs> you're collecting them now for me. <laughs> yeah well he was a little bit he was a little bit upset you know it's like i can't believe i've just been throwing these in the garbage all the time you know these old used breakers that uh you know that apparently to him have no value because i because he said like he can't if he if he goes and he puts a, a used breaker if he, he's an electrician so if he goes to a a customer's house and puts a used breaker in their panel they're going to say like whoa what's that that's used okay so can i get my money back because you're are charging me for this blah 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 anyways he kind of went on about it and he's just like it's just not worth using used breakers for him as an electrician it's just just always use new yeah okay guys well that's it for me i'm just going to sign off here what's up guys bringing garbage to the end of my driveway because it's garbage night you didn't see anything probably not but it looks really cool out here it's uh full moon and it's just like lighting up all the snow that it's like really neat looking times like this I really like coming out here because if you just stop I'm really far out in the country you just stop and you try and listen for something and you can just literally hear nothing at all it's so cool and you just kind of, your ears just strain to try and hear something, like anything. It's like maybe I can hear a car way down the road somewhere. Whew. But it's cold out. 
minus 26 right now. I don't know. I just like to come out here sometimes and just take it in like where I live right now. It's just very peaceful. Usually this road's really busy. A lot of cars coming down here all the time during rush hour. But after a certain hour, it just becomes uh, really, really quiet, especially over the weekends. It's very quiet. So it's kind of nice. Right down there, there's a, there's a street light. If you wait here long enough, you can sometimes see like coyotes running across the street right there. It's kind of neat. Or other little critters. Yeah, you can hurt you can't hear anything. In the summertime it's a totally different story. You hear all sorts of bugs and frogs and everything else making noise during the night. Winter time. Just deadly quiet. And we are in the middle of a deep, deep freeze right now. And uh, it's very, very cold. Uh, we have, I have one frozen pipe in my house right now. It's a pipe that's going up to my washing machine. I put it there when I did the renovations and I, I didn't really think about it, but I put it, it's up against the uh, exterior wall. It's a big mistake, I put it there and I put uh, pipe insulation wrap around it. It's not enough So that's frozen and so we have uh, I don't know how many more days of uh, Of this cold snap to go through It's at least one more week of these sub freezing temperatures So I'm really not going to be going anywhere for a while I have my truck plugged in Scrap. I have these two giant TVs still in the back of my truck. They're probably going to stay there for a while because uh, that scrap yard is closed till well after New Year's. Oh, I can't, I'm just starting to shake right now. But yeah, I have to go get wood out of the woodshed, bring it upstairs. So have a great night, folks. Thanks for watching.